the planet and and all the planets sort of and like it because it it's kind of like a, a really true, true professional can look at your natal chart look at like how certain aspects of life will impact your natal chart and then tell you things that are destined to happen and like you can tell you like who what type of person you're likely to marry so we're beginners so it's kind of just like I mean, I was talking to to Yubi last night, and he uh, he was telling me something that I was actually really surprised by. Not not because oh, I had say? thought about it. Uh, he was telling me something about like how like things transition, and I think he was talking about Saturn. I think is what it was. Yeah. Maybe been Saturn or Jupiter. I can't remember exactly which one, but he was talking about in relation to uh, to my Pisces, and he was talking about like its current location. Um. But basically, like, you know, what he was describing, he was like, you know, the next few years of your life, it, you know, it's going to be revolving around, like, figuring out what you want to do and, like, uh, like sort of, like, changing things up. And he was, what was that? Oh, no, finished. Sorry. I'm talking to myself. But, uh, no, I told him, I was like, back when Eric visited Ohio, I went to, uh, like, we, we both went to this dude at this uh, at this little, like, tent thing outside and he was doing like tarot readings and I told uh I told uh Yubi that like basically what he was telling me was you know pretty similar to what that guy was telling me but then also on top of that what I've been going through for the last like week or so just thinking about things like Yubi didn't know anything about that but when he was describing things it was pretty much on track with where my thinking had been for like the past week mm. So I kind of feel like I was being prepared in a way to receive that as a message. Mm. If that makes any sense? Yeah, like the universe. Yeah, I don't know what to call it per se. I I, I guess at this venture I don't need to call it anything. Oh um, yeah. No, but that's exactly how it works, especially because like so you it that how where it is and what and what degree it is and and what the other planets are doing and then how long they're going to do it for and then your own personal um, aspect to saturn all impacts it it's way more complex than just fucking daily horoscope right see I, i'm looking at it again and i just did another na na needle chart or whatever it said previously it said my Ascendant was Aries. Now it's saying it's Taurus, and I put the same exact information. Did you change the location? Nope. Is it a different location? Nope. Are you sure you didn't mess it up? Yeah, I took a picture of it too. Hmm. I don't know. It. Some, I've done that since because something's different. Oh yeah. You know what's really interesting? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Now, I don't know if to believe it or not, but it's pretty interesting. Basically, Saturn, well, here it is. Okay, on the 23rd of September in this year, uh -huh. um, it's in Revelations. Maybe should I like to see you guys? Yeah, maybe. Hold on. You can probably see this. Now, I don't know if to believe it. If you're going to try to connect two very disparaging things, um, I may not be in the mental place to, to accurately judge that. Mm -hmm. But, well, let's see. It's not like Video I gotta watch. Oh, you just look at the image. 
I think you can just scrub to the image or look at the bottom of the video. Or uh, do you um, yeah, go I to 10, 1027. 1027. I'm not really sure how to decipher that myself. Yeah. Like, where I sort of see that is it's like there, there's so much stuff that it's like, currently my concern is trying to figure out things for myself because it's like <laughs> trying to figure out, no, I mean like trying to figure out events and whatnot. It's like, even if I were to figure things out like that, I don't know where I would stand in relation to them. So that's why I'm trying to figure out me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, there's also going to be an eclipse. Uh, I think it's August 21st this year, right? And there's also going to be an eclipse of um, over the entire United States, and it's going to aspect some of the North Nodes and the South Node when uh, when the Declaration of Independence was signed, basically, basically like their birthday, mm -hmm. and and that also aspects. Donald Trump's chart and his destiny on that exact day. Hmm. Yeah. But not 23rd. I think it's like the tw August 21st this, this year. Yeah. As I said, I'm, I'm more uh, hesitant with uh, events. It's interesting to me how many uh, Christian people I've seen over the years who don't utilize astrology at all, or they look down on it, like with their with their style of trying to utilize prophecy or whatnot. Still, they still look to signs in a similar way, but they're like it's not it's not star oriented. It's like yeah. Well, they also just like. Um, I mean, most of most of the what I've heard is like, oh, you know, how do you do? How, like, I I can't believe in astrology because it's not God, you know, like you're not following God. And my my response is like, but God made you, mm -hmm. right? As it um. Oh, it's Liz. Oh, uh, she'll talk to us. If she comes in here, maybe. Um, let me see here. What am I looking for? I wonder what's happening in the first round. I don't know. I was about to go rescue Liz from there. Let's find out. Yeah. What's that? No, I just... Hey. Hello. We we're waiting for you. Yeah. Have we summoned Liz? We have summoned Liz. How are 
and he's trying to inform me of Bible prophecies coming true via astrology. Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, you be showing me a cool website, uh, Planets Today. Like it has a lot of descriptive information on there. Apparently, something I don't know. What? Twelfth house. Apparently, I don't know if the proper designation would be saying that it's ruled by Pisces, but um. Like the twelfth house Pisces connection. Versus Aries. What's that? Right. Yeah. No. But um, I'm saying on this website, like that. You be that me. Oh, like what's the website? Hold on. My twelfth house is in Libra, and so is my first house it's in Libra. But on here it says the twelfth house is the house of self undoing. I don't know what that means. It's not so American. Oh, there's a description. Uh, do you yeah. see Venus and, and Uranus on top of each other? What? Venus and Uranus on top of each other. Today? Yeah. What is that? Do? I don't know. It does something. So Saturn is in Sagittarius today. Jupiter's Mars looks Saturn. like it's transitioning into Cancer. Yeah. God damn, there's so much shit. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. I love this website. I'm gonna use it like every day to like use it for my benefit. I kind of wanted to understand what Yubi was talking about more. It's because. My only. Uh, like. Placement that is in the A sign that it's comfortable in. Oh, so does that mean that Saturn is in the fifth house? Saturn is in the fifth house today. My Saturn is in the fifth. Yes. Uh, there's so many, there's so many things to figure out. Like I've been linked so many different things. I'm like, like Tasha with that one up website with the dominant aspects. I'm like, I'm not sure what to do with this. Although, uh, something I read about retrograde Mars reminded me of some, some type 9 shit. I have retrograde Mars, though. What was that? I have retrograde Mars, though. Mm -hmm. Oh! Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw that on there.
What does it mean when your north node is, is in retrograde? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, why does it say that my north node is in retrograde in one place and then it doesn't say it in the other? I don't know. Aren't you like a collector of retrogrades? You just have like... I have four. And then <laughs> I have asteroids that have retrogrades too. I have one retrograde as far as I know. Uh, yeah. This is just Mars Leo. Yeah, mine's Leo Mars is retrograde as well. Um, Mercury retrograde. Aquarius. That would be weird, isn't it? Like Aquarius retrograde? Or Aquarius Mercury retrograde? What is that one of yours? That is mine, yeah. Huh, okay, so I don't have retrograde for that, so. I wonder how those differences would play out. Retrograde would be like a suppression of those. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> what? Uh, the more you assert your views, the more you will butt heads with other cherished notions. Sometimes in an attempt to convince another, you may take a far out position that will alienate others from siding with you. Is that the description for retrograde Mercury, of course? Yeah, don't argue stubbornly out of pride or attachment to how things were. Things happened constantly. Was on yesterday and not now today. What uh, what website are you on? Uh, new dot the astrologer. Okay. Can you link it? Celestial beings. Oh, Jesus, why? It's Susie Kerr, right? AKA the I Cosmic. Can, I, I, I can hear you. Hello. Hello. On Mercury retrograde. Since everybody's always asking about it, I thought I would do a separate video. We've got Here a lot of planetary Kimberly. action going on. <laughs> Wait, video what? That we'll be posting. He looks kind of like Kimberly. Uh, maybe out there. Uh -huh. Looking at this. Um, on, on I, I, I got to mute you while you're playing that because it's. I just stopped it. Okay. I got annoyed by it too. What courses should I take this semester? That's what I'll do. I'll plan my courses. Uh, okay, so yours was Mercury in... Hold on, I'm trying to find this again. Aquarius. Yours is Mercury in Aquarius too, but yours isn't retrograde. Right. Okay, but the thing you were reading, was it a... Uh... Was it, just, it was just for me, not for you. Right. I know that. It's just, um... What the fuck? Yeah. It sent me to a page that just... What the fuck? And I love my academic uh, like, content. Like, it's 
Stefan gave me this thing, the course camp calendar, and like puts it to copy. Is that what it said? The words? Where are you getting these keywords from? That's Mercury Retrograde in general? I straight up don't understand this. On some of the links, it just sends you to a page with text on it, and whenever you reload the page, it tells you there's something different. Aquarius Metro 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 Mercury. I didn't even fucking see that. I mean, it's not untrue, though. Oh, just regular? It's still not untrue. <laughs> okay. Do I want to take moral issues? Potentially. I want to take. For sure, I want to take fucking symbolic logic. Are you at it, girl? Uh, I don't like this website. I can't, I can't figure anything out. He rates the signs? Where? Out of, what is, what is this rating based off of? Oh, no, it's based off of the horoscope. I'll be back. It's your horoscope of the day. Calm down, it's the horoscope of the day. <laughs> I should get a tattoo right now. My mom has a tattoo. I have stick and pokes. Oh my god, there's a course on aesthetics. Yeah, I just wanna, oh. I wanna be covered in tattoos kinda, to be honest. Don't know why. I'm really afraid to commit to them, but I really want them. I just want them to be able to change all the time. Can't I do that? Whoa, there's a course called The Meaning of Life. That sounds like a very ambitious course. Yeah, it says an examination of ways of thinking about 
and ways of answering the question, what is the meaning of life? Classical attempts to account for the meaning of life in Eastern and Western philosophies, religious thought, and indigenous knowledge systems are considered in relation to accounts defended in contemporary philosophical literature. Ooh, that would be cool. Phenomenology, an investigation of the main ideas and methods of phenomenology in particular, study of the conditions of experience, self, and world. Special emphasis on the works of Husserl, uh, Heidegger, and Merleau-Ponty. Meaning interpretation, explores central issues and theories of interpretation and strategies in textual reading, especially in response to phenomenology. Topics may include Hermann... Hermeneutics? I don't know what that is. Deconstruction and the ethics of alterity. Cyber ethics. Ooh. I'm really bad at reading books. I don't know why I'm studying philosophy. Um, I really like philosophy, but I'm really, really, I have really bad anxiety when it comes to reading and writing. Uh, mostly because I have a really hard time focusing. So then I like convince myself that I can't do it. It's really horrible. I'm trying to get over it right now. So, like, my therapist thinks that I should, uh, I should go through with philosophy because I really like it. So, yeah. Oh, shit. I guess topics and value theory add problems. What do you mean? Oh, ADD, yeah, yeah, I have ADHD, yeah. Yeah, it's really bad. I like, you know how like most people say that, yeah, when I write my essays, I get like 85s, which is good in university, but like, and, I, and, and the thing is like when I write them, it's like I write them the night before and I get 85. So like if I actually wrote like the week before, like, I'd probably get fucking great, but... It sucks. I'm gonna... I'm trying to overcome it. I bought um, a Kierkegaard book, and I'm gonna attempt to read it and write something on it this summer so that I can prove to myself that I can do things. Actually, I should create a schedule of when I need to do the work and when I do it, and when I should have it done by and all that jazz so that I can actually feel good about myself. Yeah, same. I was just about to say that. I love planners. They're so much fun, but it's just not... I, like, obsess over it for, like, two days, <laughs> and that's it. Not even two days. It's probably, like, an hour, to be honest. I, like, put everything in for the hour, and then I'm, like... Yeah, same. Blah, 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 blah. Can I play a song for you? I just want to listen to music. <laughs> You could say no. <sighs> I guess I can just read it myself. I'm tight.
Oh no, and he's gone. Well, we got Liz and Carolyn.
Ah, he's fucking coming over here too. I see how it is. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, you can listen. <laughs> no, but it's like, are, are you there, Annie? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. Okay. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that it's like, it's like all these different thoughts that I'm having with like, the astrology stuff and then what I'm like wanting to focus on in life and then also the day-to-day -day things is like I'm trying to I'm trying to connect it in some sort of way but it's like it's like <laughs> I call them marbles because it's like they're, they're these individual things at least I think that they're individual things they have some sort of form to them but I'm trying to <laughs> suspend them like you would as if you were to tie them to strings but they're not actual strings. They're like psychic attention. They're like, they're like focus or understanding or something like that. And I'm trying to hold them all up in different ways and in different areas so that, so that I can, I can look at them from different perspectives until I find the right perspective so that I can take a mental snapshot once like, like, like it's like 3d connect the dots is what I'm trying to say. It's like, you know, when you do connect the dots and you're like, oh, look, it's an image. It's like an elephant that I just drew because I connected these specific dots. Uh, yeah, I get it. Like, do. Yeah, like, but it's like, trying to create a sort of like a, like, a, like a system so that you can look at it that has yeah. a shape so you can yeah. understand what's happening in your life. Yeah. I mean, and it's like a lot of synchronicities, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think that, yeah, for the big picture. Yeah. Um, no, I think it's a, like a big change coming in your life for sure. How do you know? Well, no, astrology is part of it. Uh, well, I feel, it, like, I feel like it's more than astrology. I feel like it's also just your life in general has taken different sort of turns and, right. um, yeah, it triggered him emotionally, maybe, but also even before, like where you are now, it sort of makes it even worse. More difficult. I mean, how I know is because I've been through that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, no, the the astrology wasn't. Such, I mean, what I'm trying to, I think what's best to know here is that your your um your mind, um, you can only have so many thoughts per second. But your intuition actually goes faster than that. So you have to follow your intuition, actually. <laughs> How do I know what the fuck it's saying? Um, it's just like, it's just like the first thought you have. Those aren't always good. <laughs> huh? So those aren't always good. Um, like, it, it's just like, it, it, it almost feels like it's a voice, like, like a higher self almost. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I no. mean, I, I have, I mean, here's the thing. I have a lot of rationalizations overlaid. So it's like, okay. When, when people talk about like higher voice or something like that, um, I'm not sure that it sounds the same for them as it does for me because it, it's like, it's it's hard to distinguish that from just thoughts for me. Mm. And sometimes I don't know if something is conviction or if I'm just getting caught up in the moment and I'm feeling something and then I need to slow down or whatever. Well, I think it's most like, okay, so you have all these thoughts, right? And you, your mind can only go so fast. So you're trying to like keep up, you're trying to connect everything. You can only have so many thoughts per second. So you're, you're, you're scratching your head, right? But then you stop and you have this thought, right? And it, it kind of, it goes so, it comes so quickly and so fast and there's almost a bigger picture to it. But you can't understand it and that's right. the question. And so I guess, um, are you two extremely simulated? No, it's not so much SE overload. I really haven't. I've been doing a lot of the same shit. Um, but uh, no, th that's the thing, though. Is it's like like I could go out and do shit right now. Like that's not the I'm trying to make sense out of stuff without deep cause. 
No, it's like, I don't know if I would reduce it to that. I don't think it needs to be reduced. Um, I think part of the issue is that I might be trying to, uh, what are the marbles? Um, occurrences, happenings, thoughts, impressions. It's marbles take the shape of money. Okay, so you mean like you're trying to figure out what life is trying to tell you? Like you're trying to like analyze? Yeah, yes. Oh, that happened to me, man. You got, you know what the trick is? Following but. your intuition. <laughs> because you can't linearize them. Like nothing, like, it, what he's saying is sort of like you kind of want a cause and effect 